This is Jerome Shaw, host of the Open Palm Podcast, motivator, (sighs) meditator, coming at you live with a message on awareness and how we can utilize this wonderful ability that we all have within to be more aware. What can we see in our present surroundings that before we might not have seen? How can we open doors where before there were only walls? Stop me if you've heard this one before. There was an African farmer, and this African farmer had a nice plot of land, very vast, and he was happy and content. In fact, he was happy because he was content and he was content because he was happy. But one day, you know, a businessman came by and visited this African farmer. And he said to the farmer about the glory of diamonds, illustrating that, hey, did you know that if you owned a diamond the size of your thumb, you could probably have your own city. But if you owned a diamond the size of your fist, you could probably own your own country. And then he went away. (laughs) And that night, that farmer was restless, tossing and turning over in his sheets, unable to go to sleep, rolling this way and that, visualizing riches and untold abundance and prosperity and opulence and shiny objects and diamonds, right? So many wishes came in his mind and he thought to himself, what do I have to do to acquire this? And he was so restless, so distraught, so disturbed that the next day he decided to sell his whole farm. And by selling his farm, He took care of his family, made sure that they were okay, and went off to travel all of Africa. And he went far and wide to different countries, different rivers, different places, different spaces, looking and searching for diamonds. But do you know what happened to this farmer? Eventually, after not finding any diamonds for years, he became very disheartened, very discontent. In fact, he became very unhappy. And he was happy or unhappy because he was discontent and discontent because he was unhappy. And he was so depressed that he threw himself into a nearby river and drowned. Meanwhile, back at the farm that he sold, the new owner was just walking by a stream one day and he saw this shiny object by the stream and he knelt down and picked it up, examined it, took it back home with him, placed it on the countertop because he enjoyed the way that whenever the sun hit it, rainbows would start to play in the color of this rock. It's very interesting. And do you know that old businessman came back to him the next week and seen this rock on the countertop? And he said, excuse me, uh, is, is Hafiz back in? The new owner of the farm said, no. Uh, how may I help you? Why, why do you ask? He said, because that is a diamond. The new owner said, no, you're you're crazy. That's just the rock I found by the stream today. Said, no, 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 no. I know a diamond when I see one. Follow me, let me show you. And he walked the new owner and they examined the farm. And do you know that the land had acres and acres and acres of diamonds? the same land that the previous owner had sold to go out in search of these diamonds. It was littered with them. 
they were all around. He never knew. What is the moral of this? Well, this message comes to us by our good friend, Luisa. Shout out to Luisa and thank you for this message. Sometimes the grass isn't greener on the other side. Sometimes the grass is greener where we water it. Sometimes it is our awareness that is the reason for our discontent and our unhappiness because we are not aware of the miracle all around us, the diamonds all around us. We think that we need to go somewhere else. Out there somewhere is my dream. Out there somewhere is the glory. Out there somewhere is the prize, right? Eyes on the prize all the time. But sometimes, even within, there are acres of diamonds. Vast regions within you that have been untapped and unexplored. How can you find the value of your current surroundings and your current self? Getting to know the diamond within you and allowing yourself to shine bright. Thank you so much for listening, my friend. This has just been a short message, letting you know that there are times we needn't go outside and search. Sometimes the things that we seek could be right around us. And with the right awareness, we can find that they've always been there. So much love. Thank you so much for breathing in this face today. Divine timing, yes. Lewis says divine timing. Nikita said he just had to wait for the right time. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. It's interesting, patience, you know, patience. Don't wait for the perfect moment. Take the moment and make it perfect. He had the available resources and he had the resourcefulness. Within he was already content, but it was with the alluring persuasion of the possibilities of more, more than what he already had that had always been more than enough. Thank you so much for being. Definitely share this message with somebody you feel would gain value from it. Even one person that hears this is more than enough. Thank you so much for sharing this, your love, your light, your energy. Jump in my DMs. Let's get to know each other. Would love to learn more about your journey and your path. Head to the Open Palm Podcast, the link in the bio there for your listening pleasure and your daily inspiration. Listen to the tweets of the birds around you if you can. Enjoy nature today if you can and make an impact on somebody's life for the better, if you would. Be well, be blessed, take care. See the diamond around you and see the diamond within. Shine bright, my friend. <laughs>